What's important to me as a creative person is being able to get my ideas out. I think art is more of a escape from the world. What brought me to digital art was primarily just losing my painting space and me just not having the knowledge that, you know, you can kind of paint in a room like this, uh, which I've only just realized recently. But um, yeah, just like losing my studio space, I needed something that was like portable um, and something that I could do alone of my own accord. I don't have to like rely on a team or, you know, landlord or whatever. Um, so yeah, digital art just seemed like a natural progression. Opportunities and like possibilities are like endless. Um, I kind of felt like when I was painting, I felt limited to references that already existed. So now with digital, I can, you know, sometimes I feel like a little god per se, because I can like direct the sun exactly where I want it or change the sky as I want it, build the terrain as I, I feel like, and just really iterate really quickly. You can break physics and like the technology just keeps getting better. Afrofuturism to me is taking um, black or African cultures and um, everything that sort of surrounds that culture and putting it in a positive like future context. Um, so yeah, just sort of drawing on the past and giving it a cool, you know, new futuristic spin. I try to think of myself as a futurist. So yeah, just trying to imagine what that world might look like for us. The way that the girls look has kind of come from like anime or, you know, trying to like create my own sort of anime characters. Image usually starts with me um, either finding something that inspires me, like whether that be on Twitter or, you know, in a book or a, a painting I've seen or something or a song, and then taking a small element of that and it just sort of jogs this new thing in my mind of like, oh, I could, you know, do this or maybe I've seen a type of fish and be like maybe I can try to recreate that or that's sort of how I start to build out my pieces by taking one small element from you know the world and then like bring it into my own lens. There was like a good chunk of like five years or something where I just wasn't progressing I was just like fucking around on, on the computer and just you know not really getting anywhere but I guess like in the past two to three years I really sat down and I was like you know what I need to learn this like I'm getting better jobs I'm getting better opportunities I'm getting you know I want to get better at this sort of thing so I just had to put myself in situations where it was like you're gonna have to learn this or you're gonna lose a job. In my mind, it's important for artists to embrace commercial opportunities because it gives you a new perspective. You, you have to like filter your own vision through somebody else's vision. It really opens up your mind to new um, visual languages or different concepts that you wouldn't have thought about anymore. And it also like exposes your art to people that wouldn't have necessarily have been exposed to your work previously. Yeah, I don't think I'd be where I am today without that sort of element of my art. Before NFTs being a digital artist, it was a rough game. Like, I wasn't making any money. Not that it's just about the money, but just like, you know, people just didn't really value digital art in a, in a good way. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so it was just like pretty difficult to sell any artwork, um, apart from like commissions or, you know, it was just like not a good landscape. It was like insane to have Sotheby's just like acknowledge and auction off my work. That was just probably one of the craziest things that's ever happened to me in my entire life. Um, 
just I think it's sort of every artist's dream to be auctioned off at a you know a pretty decent auction house just and as a digital artist I never thought something like that would be possible so yeah it was just insane